Hello, my name's Bont, Richard Bont, and this is Curmudgeonly Yours, a show on Society Bites Radio, part of the Radio Ear Network family, supplying social interaction for the mind and soul. The introductory and concluding music to this show is La Polonaise by Wieniawski, played by Max Bont. I am your host and curmudgeon, where everything is what it seems. Nothing is what it seems. And what is not said is often of most interest. Today, I will be speaking with Julie Stewart about Juice Plus. Julie Stewart is a senior sales coordinator. Hi, Julie. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. It's good to have you on Curmudgeon New York and Society Bites Radio again, uh, part of the Radio Ear Network and broadcasting out of Sarasota, Florida. Uh, Julie Dutton Stewart has been helping people as a rehab therapist since 1994. She's my guest today. Nutritional counseling is about one of her areas of expertise. Learning that 75 to 80% of all disease is preventable with 80% of that, 80% of that prevention being nutrition and only 20% other lifestyle choices is what's inspired her to, to take a real honest look at her family's diet and lifestyle. One simple change at a time has created major impacts on their lives. Now, Julie has two daughters. As a mom, she feels so relieved to be able to bridge her whole family's nutritional gaps with Juice Plus Whole Food Nutrition. Each day, every member of her family has the Juice Plus Trio, Omegas, and a shake. And I use Juice Plus myself. I have to get in here. They use the bars as on-the-go snacks and grow their produce on their tower garden. Julie loves caring about others and sharing educational information with them. When it makes sense, it's easier to do better. Doing better allows her to be fit and healthy and has led to her incredible amount of energy to do what she loves, which is travel and adventure. Julie feels like life is all about experiences and she wants to have as many of them as she can. Quality of life is her focus. To learn more about Juice Plus for yourself, check juliestewart.juiceplus.com. Click on the globe in the top right corner to change the website to any country and the corresponding language. And of course, I'm going to repeat this information at the end of the show. And don't forget that kids up to 26 years old get Juice Plus at no cost for the Healthy Starts for Families program. Julie Stewart can be easily reached by by phone or text at 941-726-0707 or Julie C. D. Stewart, S-T-E-W-A-R-T, at gmail.com on Facebook, facebook.com, Julie Stewart, 77985. Uh, That's Julie.Stewart.77985 or Facebook Messenger or on WhatsApp at 941-726-0707 or on Instagram at Julie Dutton Stewart. She says her motto is, I look forward to personally helping you on your health journey and also be open and see what great opportunities will come to you. Julie, today I understand you are going to share with us about a really forward thinking and easy way to grow your own food. I know that you are very passionate about prevention and helping others be as healthy as they can be, especially when it comes to nutrition. So before we dig into gardening, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you became interested in nutrition? Oh, thank you so much. I would love that. Um, so as you mentioned, I'm a medical speech pathologist of 26 years, and during my career I've rehabilitated both adults and children in multiple areas, as including what's most commonly thought of as speech and language and voice, but additionally and primarily the less well-known areas of cognition and swallowing as well. Mm. So early on in my career, I observed that adults, um, it's not uncommon for them for the last 15 years of their life to have significantly reduced quality, and that really bothered me. I also learned that, as you stated, 75 to 80 percent of all disease is preventable, and that was shocking for me to realize that the illnesses from which I was rehabilitating people were actually preventable. Um, then I learned, you know, the way to prevent them is just simply through nutrition and healthy lifestyle. So I thought, wow, I need to really take a look closely at my family. And what I came to realize is that even though I thought my family was eating healthily and living a very healthy lifestyle, when I really got honest with myself, we were taking a lot of shortcuts that I realized had just become bad habits. 
And mm. I have two dogs, as you mentioned, and it, it occurred to me that I needed to really model eating whole foods and daily exercise and other healthy lifestyle choices in order to make that normal for them and build new habits that would not only be naturally incorporated into their world, but then would be easily handed down to them uh, by them to their children and their children and so forth and so on. Sure, sure. Um, well, um Knowing that nutrition is so important to preventing 80% of all diseases is one thing, but growing your own food is another. Most people get their produce from the grocery store, even the farmer's market. What made you decide to grow your own food? <laughs> well, yes, uh, that is kind of uh, a unique lifestyle in many ways. But, you know, as you know, produce in the grocery stores can be very expensive and it's mm. also often contaminated and very frequently recalled. Um, I preferred food grown without pesticides and other chemicals because I know those are con serious contributors to diseases. So my husband and I also thought it would be part of the healthy lifestyle aspect to teach our children how to grow their own food and making, you know, make it a learning opportunity from an agricultural and a science and sustainability and even self-reliance perspective as well. So we started our own gardens in our yard at home mm -hmm. and this happened each spring and to our dismay, we really never had much success. <laughs> So okay. it was a great deal of money with topsoil and plants and mulch and the constant watering. And yeah, it was also true. really, yeah, it's a lot, isn't it? Um, yeah, I know, tried to do it myself. And were, I'm sorry, I, I tried to do it myself. I remember and there were a lot of snails that kept eating the food. I didn't, then I had to get snail bait. Then I didn't know if I was poisoning the food. But go ahead, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's true, you know, and it's also a great deal of physical time and effort, which started out, you know, as a great therapeutic exercise and quickly became a burden that we just didn't have time for in our hectic lives. So, you know, we weren't the kind of people that were going to put a huge amount of research and planning and studying into optimizing, growing, et cetera. You know, we didn't want a full-time job growing our food. So, um, we then decided to invest in earth boxes. And I think What's that? this would be easier to maintain. Earth boxes. Okay. Um, and, you know, thinking that would be easier to maintain and more fruitful. But this was not inexpensive initially. And we did have a little bit more success. However, kind of like you said, um, insects such as caterpillars and snails and aphids, et cetera, you know, they plagued us. And we just weren't harvesting enough for the time and the money we were putting into our gardening. Plus, honestly, again, it was relaxing for a short time. But mm. the weeding and bending over and maintenance, it just became burdensome rather than fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you have a question that you want, I was going to ask you there. Have you ever failed at uh, anything? And if so, what was it? I guess it would be the gardening, right? Uh, what made you Absolutely. decide to try it again? Well, you know, I was introduced to a company that I then became a franchisee with that's nutrition-based, and we incorporated some of the products into our lifestyle, and one of the products was actually an aeroponic vertical growing system, and mm. it was just so clear that this was such an incredible way to grow because it was so simple. There was absolutely no green thumb needed. And it was pretty clear that that might have been one of our issues is that we weren't, you know, born with green thumbs. <laughs> and sure. so I thought, you know what, this is such a unique way to grow. Um, I We can give this a shot. And so that's what we did is we started using um, this new uh, innovative growing system. And so tell me tell me about this vertical, I guess, aeroponic, you called it, aeroponic uh, growing tower. Tell me more about it. Well, it's really cool because um, it is a growing machine and it, you know, stands up vertically. Um, basically, the plants are sitting with their roots in air 
and water is pumped up um, because it's about five feet tall total and so water is pumped up from a reservoir in the bottom up to the top and then trickled over the roof so it's really cool because it doesn't take up much space at all Um, I'm five feet tall and usually when I describe it to somebody I stand up tall and I cut my head and I say it's this tall and I put my arms outside like a ballerina and I say and it takes up this much space so uh, it's literally no different than somebody standing next to you. Um, uh, and I love the fact that it, you know, uses 90% less space. Um, and because you plug it in and there's a pump with it that waters it, uh, you don't have to do anything to it. It really takes care of itself. Um, mm. And I love the fact that, um, you know, you don't, have to you don't have any soil so there's no weeds there's no bending over there's no um huh. you know dealing with insects because insects are attracted with you know from the dirt so it just sure. makes it a, a really simple way to be able to grow um that anybody can do and i i like that i can kind of fiddle with it and go out and play with it talk to my plants and you know just look at it and love on it as much as I want. Or, um, as you heard, I like to have adventure and travel so I can be gone, you know, three or four weeks and it just takes care of itself. So, well, you know, you know, it's, it's weird to about to it. be, Good. how is it you, uh, how is it? It doesn't need dirt though. I thought the dirt had to encase the roots. No, not at all. So aeroponics, is the technology that's used and it's the process of growing plants in an air or mist environment without the use of soil and it's actually the most effective and efficient way to provide plants with the necessary nutrient hydration and oxygen so it is the most sophisticated form of hydroponics and like i said the most effective and efficient way to provide plants with the necessary nutrients um so it's pretty it's pretty cool so no there is no dirt there's a reservoir at the bottom um, and it holds there's two different styles um that we have one a little smaller than the other um so one holds uh, 13 gallons of water in the reservoir at the bottom the other holds can hold 20 and there is a pump that comes with it and it sits in the bottom in that tub and then the plants are sitting in a tower, kind of like connected, very large. I would say it looks like it's not this, but it looks like PVC, a nice big round one sitting on top. Okay. Holes that you put the plants in with the roots facing down, and they're just sitting in there. The plants are in a medium um, that we call rock wool, and okay. you can grow them from seeds. Um, to a seedling and then transplant them into the tower or you can um, purchase seedlings and just put them right into the tower that way and so then the pump shunts that water up you know to the top and they're um, at the top there's like we call it a shower cap it's got little holes in it and it it, so it sprinkles the water down over all of the plants and how much um, how much breath does this, I'm sorry, how much space does this take in your apartment besides you spreading your arms out and then being five foot high? How much width or breadth, uh, depth does it take? Well, it doesn't take up much at all. Um, the larger one is um, about a three by three, three foot by three foot square should do it. And it's interesting because you said in your apartment. So what's cool about this um aeroponic vertical growing um, that we call a tower is that it can be used indoors or outdoors. So Mm. I grow outdoors the majority of the time with it. Um, It needs 